Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. COVID-19, what a serious on a sake on a hip as the best for you. COVID-19, we can do COVID-19, what a serious on a sake on a hip as the best for you. You are listening to the COVID-19 podcast series brought to you by Asake Online. In light of the recent surge in COVID-19 cases, the following stiff lockdown measures are being put in place with immediate effect. Weddings, churches, bars, bottle stores, gymnasiums, restaurants, etc., etc., are banned for 30 days. Twenty twenty might be gone, but surely COVID nineteen is still here with us. On January five, the Zimbabwean government instituted a new national lockdown following a surge in COVID nineteen infections across the country. To date, the country has recorded over twenty six thousand cumulative cases and close to seven hundred deaths since the outbreak of the virus last year. From January 3 to 16 uh, this year, Zimbabwe recorded 12,390 new cases. And currently, Bulawayo, which is the second largest city in the country, is sitting at 664 active cases, whilst Harare, the capital, has 4,560 active cases. The major question now is what could have caused the spike in COVID-19 cases, particularly in Bulawayo? My name is Lens Yotimpofu, and welcome to the COVID-19 series a podcast, proudly brought to you by Asake Online. And on today's episode, we are gathering thoughts and opinions from Bulawayo residents as they tell us uh, the reasons they think are behind the search numbers of COVID-19 infections. Uh, We will also hear uh, from Professor Dr. Solo Yongwenya, who is the Acting Chief Executive Officer at Mpilo Hospital, and he is also the Clinical Director at the Ministry of Health and Child Care. He will be giving us his thoughts as to why the COVID-19 infections are on the rise. But let's first hear from our two first guests, Malvin Ngube and Tatenda Kamtando. The opening borders from South Africa uh, caused a, a rampant, a rampant uh, surge in the cases of COVID-19. COVID it was when in time where South Africa was uh, recording second wave. So those people were, were coming to Zimbabwe, they came with uh, fake documents confirming that they are uh, n- a negative from COVID-19. Uh, so that's uh, when they uh, the second wave with it is Zimbabwe very fast. Then also uh, the issue of uh, parties, uh, weddings and everything also contributed a lot to the rise of cases in Zimbabwe. Uh, as for me, I think the equipment is not as uh, reliable as other countries have. Other countries have machinery that's reliable. So their statistics are quite accurate than ours. So because we do not have um, adequate or defective equipment to do testing for COVID. Um, most people are living um, with COVID without knowing. And then uh, besides that, we can also talk of um, those people who live in out, what, outskirts, uh, places that are not exactly in town or CBD. They are not adhering to strict COVID measures before we even go to the people who came in from AC. Uh, those were our first two guests, Malvin and Tatinda. Uh, as you heard there, they are attributing the surge of COVID-19 infections uh, to the opening of borders uh, and to people who do not adhere uh, to the preventive measures that were put in place. And uh, during the festive season, I'm sure you noticed uh, there were a lot of parties, a lot of weddings, and people were gathering up in their numbers uh, during funerals 
And uh, this is the outcome now. We are forced back into a lockdown. You are listening to the COVID-19 series podcast on Asaki Online. Make sure uh, to subscribe on site ZW NKFM. Follow site ZW on Facebook and Twitter to get uh, the latest podcasts on COVID-19 issues. Let's go for a short break. And after the break, we'll hear uh, from two other guests, Karl Marx and Lovo and Nkosi Konativiti, uh, before we hear what Dr. Solo Yongwenya has to say. You are listening to the COVID-19 podcast series brought to you by Asake Online. Welcome back to the COVID-19 series podcast. I'm your host, Lens Yotimpofu. And on today's episode, we are interrogating the reasons behind the recent surge of COVID-19 uh, infections, particularly in Bulawayo. And uh, before the break, we heard from our first two guests, uh, Malvin and Tatenda. And uh, for now, let's hear from our next two guests, uh, Karl Marx and Nkosikona. Okay, well, uh, you, you know, um, we as people stand on a shortcut. So uh, these shortcuts usually uh, lead us into peril. Looking at this uh, COVID-19 issue, uh, where someone has to get a COVID-19 certificate to cross the borders, it might be quite expensive and quite um, uh, inconvenient is it to get that uh, that, that uh, COVID-19 certificate but well, looking on the health side uh, some people they just uh, bypass that uh, process they bypass that uh, uh, system you would make to a COVID-19 certificate my phone cross my portals and they end up bringing a COVID-19 la in Zimbabwe. And uh, recently, the UK was talking about a, a, a new strain, a new strand of COVID-19. It's very, very deadly. Now, look at them. The Malaysia is bringing people, multitudes of people being a test one. And then uh, it, it, it also... Uh, spells a new wave to Zimbabwe. It spells a new wave of COVID-19. Firstly, I think the authorities, both South Africa and Zimbabwe, uh, both governments did not come up with a plan on how they were going to do this. In terms of, uh, we've got the immigration staff that does the, the immigration procedures, but who else was going to assist? in checking the COVID-19 certification, whether it's fake or not. And we have seen the congestion in the border, which means a lot of people were crossing without really going through uh, the immigration processes and, and all. We also asked Dr. Soloyo uh, what he thinks are the reasons behind uh, the rise in COVID-19 infections. And he had this to say, it's nothing surprising there. You were warned repeatedly by myself and many other people that repo- reopening of borders was going to allow a movement of people from South Africa where the virus was already a problem. And the first is merrymaking that you were doing, partying and so forth. So it's not uh, surprising that the virus is here. Uh, there you have it. I also think that the park stops with us as people. We should make sure that we play our role. We should make sure that we are safe always uh, because uh, this is a deadly pandemic. Till next time, it's goodbye for now.